All right, this is first grade module one, lesson 34. And in this lesson, we're gonna be modeling n minus n and n minus the quantity n minus one, pictorially. Now, what the, what does that mean? Well, n minus n means you've got, let, let, let's say eight dots, one, and you're gonna subtract all eight, eight minus eight, n minus n. The n minus n minus one stands for subtracting one less than the original number. For example, you might have five, and then you're gonna subtract four, leaving just the one. So uh, that's what the n minus n minus one means. Uh, again, uh, just like the previous video, I'm gonna be using the 10 frame instead of the beads that uh, Eureka Math is advocating for. I like the 10 frames better. Uh, no harm, no foul, it's all gonna work out just fine. So here it says cross off in order to subtract. So you've got your 10 dots, five and five. There's That's this 10 um, right here, this first 10. Now this says cross off 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now of course, um, Eureka Math says to just use a horizontal line. They just go one straight across. I'm sure there's some reason for that. Um, as long as the kids aren't um, messing up, I don't know if it matters much one way or the other. Uh, but 10 minus 10, we can see that leaves us with zero dots left over. Now, what would that look like with a 10 frame? Well, the first 10, we would model with 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then that second ten says we're going to cross off ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, leaving us with nothing left over. So you can see here's how Eureka Math is doing it using beads and the beads are arranged in that five group format. I prefer the ten frame. It's all going to lead us to the right an same answer. I just prefer the 10 frame. Here, uh, they specifically want us to uh, make that five group drawing. So here, uh, let's see, it's saying something minus seven is equal to one. Now, the first thing I just noticed, t teachers, is when I'm reading this question, I, and I imagine first graders might struggle with this. They might want to read it left to right. One equals blank minus seven. And that might be a little confusing to say the difference first. So we need to allow our students the, um, I don't know, the authority or the privilege or whatever it is, the flexibility to, to read the question, take it all in in their mind, and then when they're really trying to understand it, say this like the problem first, blank minus seven equals one. And in this case, they want us to draw, so we know we're gonna take away seven, so it's gonna look like one, oh, we need to color these in. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, and we know we need eight dots, because when we cross off 7, because that's what this says, cross off 7, uh, we're supposed to leave 1 left over. So if we're going to cross off 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's the 1 left over. So how many dots did we have at the beginning? 8. Boy, that's a doozy. Um, so parents and teachers, be patient with your students. Uh, if they don't exactly totally understand this lesson, that's okay. The next several lessons are all kind of similar. There's going to be many opportunities for our students to learn this stuff. They don't have to totally master it today. Now, what would that look like with a 10 frame? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cross off 7 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then we can see that our answer is one, one dot left over. So you get to choose five group drawing, like using beads on the bracelet, or the 10 frame, it's totally up to you. It says, make a five group drawing to model this right here. Well, we see we're gonna start with nine, and then we're gonna take away some, 
and we're going to have one left over. Well, starting with 9 is the easy part, isn't it? 1, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now we can cross off all but 1. There it is. And so we can see that here's the one that's left over. So what's the nine? All of them. What's the one left over? It's this guy right here, the answer. So what's the space? It's the eight that we crossed off. And so that's that answer. Nine minus eight equals one. And again, the choices galore. You could use the 10 frames or you can use the beads that have been given. Um, if I were the teacher, I might go in and download the doc file and replace the beads with the 10 frame equivalent of what the story is um, if I had time, right? Uh, but I'm going to stick with the beads for this. We see that, let's do this one. Well, we have seven as our starter. All seven of them have been crossed off, leaving nothing left over. So it's 7 minus 7 equals 0. Uh, let's take a look at 12. Uh, 12 is, let's see, we have how many to start? We have, let's see, 5 plus 4 more, so that's 9. So we start off with 9, and I can see that we've crossed off eight of them, and I can see that we have one left over, so it's nine minus eight equals one. So this set of problems is very much like the previous slides in this video, so I'm going to leave you um, the chance to do all the solving, but uh, this is my last time to say consider using that ten frame rather than the five groups. Uh, simply because the five groups method eventually goes away in later grades, but the 10 frame is utilized in later grades. And that wraps up Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 34, subtracting two different styles of problems, 8 minus 8 and 5 minus 4.